Welcome to the Office 2010 Help Series with Mary Thomas and Howard Aitken. In this video we're going to be looking at how um, Office 2010 is using themes to allow you to create a set of documents across all the applications that look the same. So I'm going to look at Word um, as an example of themes, though as I say, they do apply to all of the applications, um, Word, Excel and PowerPoint. Um, so if you just take this um, document as an example, if I go to Page Layout and then look at Themes, if I select a different theme, you can see as I take my mouse across the themes, um, the document will change. It changes its colours, it changes its font um, and, and looks totally different depending on which theme you use. So the best thing to do, and what I've done for clients, is you create a theme for your company. A theme is made up of a set of colours, a set of fonts, and a set of effects. So if you choose a set of colours for your company in PowerPoint, say, and create that as a theme, then you can choose use the same colours um, throughout Excel and Word. So that means that every single document irrelevant of application that leaves your company will look the same, use the same colours. Similarly, you choose the same types of fonts for um, your heading font, which is the, the title fonts like the found and an introduction type font, and the body fonts, which is like the main text. So you choose one font, they can be the same. I choose um, the same fonts for both of mine when I set up my themes, but you can choose them differently if you want to. It's not the size that you choose, it's the font type. So if we look at creating a set of font colors, for example, if I click down here, and go to create new theme colors. So you choose um, a couple of text, four text colors, depending on whether it's a dark or light background. You choose six accent colors, which are used in smart art diagrams and in charts. And then you, you, you choose which color you want for a hyperlink and which color you want for a hyperlink that has been clicked on, so a followed hyperlink. Um, and you create, once you've chosen your set of colours, you create a name for that. And you can choose, um, if you click down on here and choose more colours, then you can actually put in your exact RGB, RGB colours that you want to use. Similarly, you would select a set of fonts. So if I create new theme fonts, and you'd create a font for the heading, and you'd create a font for the body and you'd give that a name. And once you've got all of those set up, then you would save the current theme as whichever theme you wanted to use. This would then be available in PowerPoint and um, Excel so that you would be using the same colors throughout. When you use these fonts, if I then um, highlight this text and say I wanted to give it a color, if I go to my Home tab, and click down on my text font color. I have a choose a choice of my different variations of my theme colors. So these are my main theme colors. The the black text one is my normal text that I would um, font color font that I would use for a white background. But I can use all these different versions of all of the different colors. Um, if I use any of these, it's still within the same basic color range within my theme. By clicking one of the standard colors or by clicking more colors, that is giving me a completely different range of colors that hasn't been selected within the standard colors. So if you use this, it's a good idea to um, indicate to your staff that they ought to use preferably the top set of theme colors, but at the very least um, they can go down to the various different variations of the theme colors. Similarly, if I look at the font type, I ought to be using the headings or body font type 
um, if that are, uh, are displayed here and I shouldn't really be going down to look in any of the other fonts because that would be going outside the company standard but you can set your own um, size of fonts and that would need to be set up separately as a company standard. So hopefully that gives you some idea of why and how to use themes um, throughout your applications. It's often easier to start with PowerPoint and create all the colors that you need for PowerPoint because it tends to be more colorful and then take those into Word and Excel. But do watch that the um, different accents that you choose for your PowerPoint are work in your Word and Excel. Sometimes you have to play around with them a bit. If you need any more help, um, do contact Mary Thomas of Concise Training or Howard Aitken of Oxfordshire Computer Service.